how to bulk upload 10,000 plus NFTs. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can upload up to 10,000 plus NFTs in a matter of minutes. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, why would you need to do this? Well, it's pretty simple. Like uploading 10,000 NFTs is a pretty hectic and pretty time consuming job. Like you have to go out, click on create and then upload individually you know upload all those nfts individually it's gonna take you way too long so in this video i'm gonna tell you a way which will allow you to automate that process and you can go to bed you can go to work you can do whatever you want and by the time you come back and sit on your computer you turn on your screen all of your nfts are gonna be uploaded so let's just jump into it so first things first let me just go ahead and sign into OpenSea over here and to do that just simply click on the wallet at the top right corner and simply choose your cryptocurrency wallet i'm going to choose metamask because i've already used it before and i have an account over there and over here i'm just simply going to enter in my password and then we're going to move on with the video and boom there you go i am now signed in and we are good to go now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and create a collection so to create a collection just simply hover your mouse over your profile picture and click on my collections over here i'm going to go over here and over here just simply click on create a collection and boom you are now over here where you have to create your very first collection and over here it's very simple just upload your logo image your featured image the banner image the name of your collection is the description some links over here and creator earnings as well what this basically means is basically a percentage fee i'll get to that in a little bit and then just display theme so i'm going to go ahead and do all of that so i'm going to go ahead and upload the uh, logo over here i created a few nfts a while ago so let me just go ahead and use that actually uh here we go i'm going to go ahead and upload that one and featured image i'm gonna upload let's say this one right here on the rarest one and then the banner image it has to be like 1400 by 400 so let me just go over to this website called resizeimage.net and i'm gonna go ahead and resize my images over here i'm gonna upload an image right and let's say this is the image right here boom it's uploaded right now it's 1000 by 1000 and i want to change it to 1400 to 400 right click on resize image give it a few seconds and boom the resized image has been done now you just simply download the image and i'm simply going to save it over here and now i'm going to go ahead and upload that image that i just created here we go this one is it let's see it looks pretty weird but you know you get the gist of it you can maybe like create another one over here actually i'm going to go ahead and create a one in canva because it provides you with the necessary tools to create a good image so let me just go over here and let me just go ahead and create a design all right i want to create a banner landscape yes but i want a custom size so i'm going to go with 1400 by 400 pixels and create a new design and boom we have our banner over here now i'm just simply going to upload a bunch of my nfts over here and we'll be good to go so i'm going to click on upload there you go now over here you just enter in the name of your collection so the name is crypto punks or i'm just simply gonna call it punks over here and over here you can enter in the url so as you can see the name's already taken so i'm just simply gonna call it let's say budget punks what about this one and now you just enter in the you know url and now you just enter in the description of your nfts it can be anything and then you just enter in your sites or categories and then you enter in the percentage that you want so it can be like 10 percent, 20 percent what this basically means is that whenever someone you know buys your collection and sells it to someone else and he gets the money then you will get a percentage of that sale as well so you can enter in 20 percent, 10 percent. it all depends on you um actually the creator earnings cannot be greater than 10 percent, so we'll just keep it at 10 percent. i guess i thought it used to be higher but i guess not for that just choose your you know currency that you want your payment token and then just choose your cover letter and simply click on create and boom there we go now that we have our collection created now we can go ahead and move on with the main part of this video all right now i want you to create these three windows over here so you want to open up your collection in one window and you want to open up a google spreadsheet in one and another google spreadsheet in the other and now we're good to go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open them up individually over here as you can see now that i have them opened up what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them over here in one window and then put this over here in one window 
you know, make it as small as possible. There you go. Don't overlap each other. And let's just put this over here. Put this over here. Pull this down and pull this down as well. There we go. We keep that over there. Now what I want you guys to do is just simply download one application, which is called Mini Mouse Macro. Now this application is pretty amazing. This application is going to allow us to actually, you know, automate our process of uploading our NFT. So just simply download Mini Mouse Macro. All right. It's completely free and just simply download it and double click on it. And this is how it looks like. Now, what does this application does? It basically, you know, it records all of your clicks, all of your buttons, all of your activity and it records it and then you can loop it. And then what it will do is will simulate all of your actions one by one making a workflow. So it's really simple. It's really easy. So, for example, uh, all I have to do is just click over here on this button. All right as you can see it's recording now whenever it clicks anywhere it basically records as you can see over here if i choose this one over here it's going to do that if i click on tab it's going to do that if i shift tab it it's going to go back if i do this button it's going to do that everything works pretty cool all right it records it and then when i stop it and i you know play it then it's going to simulate all of those actions so it's going to click everywhere where i clicked it's gonna you know do whatever i did so as you can see my mouse just moved the cursors are moving everywhere it's simulating all of my action so it's pretty simple it's really cool so let me just go ahead and stop it now before it gets out of control we are now good to go so now what do we do so first things first we're gonna go ahead and put our name over here we'll go at the very top and we're gonna put like zero over here right and one and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just scroll that down to 50 or as big of a collection you have two three and just go ahead and scroll it down to as long as possible there you go and now what you can do is you can enter in the name over here as well so it's really simple and then over here what you're going to do is you're going to enter in a description for your nfts basically a link so i'll just say link.com over here as a reference and then over here you're gonna have like a description over here and boom you're good to go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re start recording our macro but before i do that let me just tell you so first things first what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here all right now it's recording all right now we're gonna click over here now we're gonna push this button down we're gonna copy that we're gonna come over here we're gonna click on add item all right we're gonna click on image okay so make sure you open up uh a image folder over here so for me my image folder is this but if i double click over here right now it's gonna mess up so this is what i'm talking about so let me just stop my macro over here clear it and over here this is it let me just first do this now if i click over here it's gonna open that up all right so now let's do it again because now everything is set up now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and start over here push the button down copy the name come over here enter in the image click over here and then one all right i'm gonna click on open and i'm gonna paste the name over here and then over here i'm gonna click over here copy the link paste the link over here copy the description paste the description down here and then i'm gonna press tab we're gonna go down we're gonna keep the ethereum and we're gonna click on create and we're gonna press enter and boom it's almost done just have to clear the recapture so the recapture won't occur all the time. It will only occur for the first time after that. You won't have to worry about that. But, you know, it's better to just get it out of the way. So just simply over here, pause the macro. All right. Let me just clear the recapture real quick. And there you go. Now let me just record it now over here. There you go. As you can see, we have now created it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close it up. All right. And we're going to click on the hamburger menu. We're going to click on my account. And we're going to click on my collection then we're going to choose the collection that we have then we're going to click over here and boom now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the collection and we're going to delete the final one because that's the stop one next thing what we're going to do is we're going to save the macro and we're going to click on loop right we're going to save it macro one we're going to save it and there we go now that that macro is saved now whenever we play this macro it is going to work so if I play the macro right now, let's just take a look over here. So as you can see, my mouse is going up. The sheet is selecting over there. As you can see, the number is being copied. All right. Then it's going to go over to this window over here. 
and it's going to click on add item it's a little bit slow so don't worry about that now as you can see it's pasting but now you get the gist of it right let me just go ahead and stop the macro right here okay so this is one of the things is stopping the macro is very hard because once it starts uh, it doesn't want to stop you know but you get the gist of it now that's how you basically do it you do everything you do while you are uploading the nfts once so that the program can copy you and then you just loop it and play it and then it's going to do everything over and over again you don't have to do it all you have to do is just make sure that it doesn't mess it up like for example no notification pops up or all the alignments are perfect you know nothing goes sideways otherwise it's gonna mess up as it did for me as you can see so that's how you do it that's how you basically upload tens and thousands of nfts all at once and you don't even have to do it so that's how you basically automated that process so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i hope to see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye